beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Mansa Queen and today's recipe you can see we got some fresh beautiful collard greens and I'm ready to share with you how I make my southern style collard greens um, recipe with some smoked turkey yes guys smoked turkey it is a really delicious and healthy meal I must say the perfect side for any family dinner lunch especially during the holiday time this is enjoyed um a lot alongside some cornbread and anything you have on the menu so without wasting your time let's get right into today's video Here I have two pounds of, uh, of some fresh collard greens. I got the one from the store that's already shredded, okay? Because that's the one I could find. It didn't have any of the fresh ones that was not shredded. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and take out most of that um, really hard woody part. This is like the vein in, that runs in the middle of the leaf, that midrib. I don't want it. I don't like it. It makes it bitter and it just takes a long time to cook. So to my greens i'm going to add some baking soda this is going to help to clean up all the germs that are still in there this needs a lot of thorough washing because sometimes it may contain a lot of sand and just dirt so it's good to soak your greens in a lot of water and let the sand and any particles that might still be in there settle to the top uh, to the bottom and then you can um take your greens out and wash them repeatedly until they're really clean so here i am um my greens have been sitting i'm gonna take it out and run it through my colander right there as you can see i am just grabbing them from the top because the sand and anything dirty is already settled on the bottom so that's just how i do it keep it really clean and make sure your sink is also sterilized and clean here is the finished product it is all nice and clean and I would be using some smoked turkey like I mentioned. Yes, there is no um, good old collard greens without smoked meat. You can use any smoked meat of your choice, really. You can use smoked um, ham, um, turkey necks. I prefer the turkey drumsticks. I get these from my local grocery store. Um, and they already cut it up the ones that you can get from the like the usual stores like Walmart and Kroger It comes as a whole leg. You can also use that But I prefer these ones because they're already cut and it pairs perfectly that smoky flavor pairs perfectly in this dish I'm also going to be using this is about one-fourth of a cup of um, diced yellow onions now this is the pot that I'm working with today and to it i'm going to add some oil this is just vegetable oil you can use olive oil or any oil of your choice and once that heats up i'm going to add my onions and i'm just um cooking on low to medium heat because i don't want it to get burnt at this point i'm also going to add some spice and here it comes four cloves of garlic I am just going to go ahead and roughly just shred it in there. You can also just dice it. It does not really have to be fine. You can just go ahead and dice um, the garlic in there. And I just kept um, stir frying it on low to medium heat. And by this time, it, you would also already be smelling that fragrance. And it is time to add our turkey. Look how beautiful she is. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> I am now going to season with some of my um, Creole seasoning. It pairs perfectly with this dish. If you don't have this, you can simply just use um, some salt and some a little bit of pepper flakes. That also works perfectly in this recipe. So I'm just tossing it around in the pot, just tossing it around. And as you can see, the onions and garlic are perfectly caramelized and the meat is starting to smell so good. Now it's time to add some water. I added about two cups of water, okay? The amount of water you would add would depend on how much greens you're cooking. So you wanna cover that and let the pot come to a boil. Now, 
I forgot to add some salt so I'm gonna go ahead and add um, some salt right now you can use any seasoning of your choice but remember smoked meat tends to be salty so I'm just adding a little now and towards the end I would taste for more salt and adjust it here comes a little bit of my chicken bouillon it also bumps up the taste in this dish so I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it up and you want to let this cook for about 30 minutes and here we are 30 minutes later our turkey has been boiling really nicely you can see that the bone is already coming off of it it is not quite done I mean it's almost done I can eat it at this point but I need it to be really tender and fall off the bone so now it is time to add our greens so that they will all cook together greens tend to be really really bulky so I am using a seven quart Dutch oven yes that's what I'm using so it can contain all of the greens at once but if it does not fit in your pot that you have you can just simply put some of it let it wilt down for about two minutes and add the rest you guys some of the health benefits of collard greens they are really high in fiber that is one reason why i really really love them high in fiber so it improves your digestion they're also very high in vitamin k and vitamin a and lots of health benefits okay one twist that i like to add to mine is some shredded spring onions yes guys these are some scallions oh there we go i needed my camera to focus <laughs> so i'm gonna add some scallions and this is just about um i think three of it and i only took the leafy part of um some spring onions yes here it is what it looks like i left the onion part out and it just tends to add up the flavor anytime i'm using smoked turkey i like to add spring onions guys try it and let me know this is 30 minutes later after i put in the greens and i went off camera to try to shred the turkey a little you can see that the bone is, has already fallen off and at this point the meat is really tender and the greens are almost done but they're not yet done they're really tough so the i would first of all go ahead and take out all the bones because i don't want that i just want the meat in there and you can shred it as as much as you want or leave um, bigger chunks so greens tend to be really really tough and take a long time to cook so this is the stove top version you can also use your pressure cooker your instant pot to make it or even the slow cooker so at this point i need to let it cook for an additional time but i'm gonna adjust my spice and something else that you really need is some vinegar or any type of acidic um substance like lemon juice apple cider vinegar distilled white vinegar anything of that sort will work and to me that tends to cut it down the bitterness that comes with the leaf okay and it also add the hint of acidity to the dish and just neutralizes all those flavors so i really like it so this is what it looks like and i tested for salt and i needed a little bit more so i'm going it with a little bit more of that creole seasoning guys if you can tolerate a little bit of heat please go ahead with some crushed red peppers they add a whole lot of flavor you do not need to add a whole lot just add as much as you can tolerate okay so at this point all my flavors are on point and the greens have cooked for a total of 45 to 50 minutes again you can cook yours as long as you want until you reach the desired texture and here we are this is our finished product i'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the pot also check out my jiffy corn bread video i will have the link in the description box below it pairs perfectly with this greens and also i have a jiffy corn muffin video guys smoked meat just takes any greens to the next level and by the way we also have um there is an african version to this type of greens we use different type of um, green vegetables though but um if you were interested to see how i make um my nigerian vegetable soup using a mixture of different types of green leafy vegetables including collard greens let me know in the comment section below and i would make sure that i whip it out for you you will love it it is delicious 
promise so this is our finished product as you can see up close and personal meat falling off the bone um greens are well cooked and still has the crunch in them all flavors are on point i hope you guys get to try this recipe let me know in the comment section below what you do differently when you cook your greens what are your preferences i'm always happy to learn from you guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bells until i see you in my next one y'all stay safe and have a good one bye